Well, I've missed you, and I'm glad we're back with another magical moment from the Wick Theater. Um, it was so incredible to have not one, but two amazing Patsy Kleins for a show called Always Patsy Klein at the Wick Theater. And um, we had the very talented Terry Dixon here, and also Miss America 1987, the lovely Kelly Cash. And uh, both of them brought Patsy Klein to life along with Laureline Snedeker. So won't you enjoy this magical moment? And our new Miss America is Miss Tennessee Kelly Cash. Miss America, here's that walk you've earned. Go ahead, meet your audience. Hello, Wick family. I'm Kelly Cash and I am thrilled to be part of your magical moments. For 35 years, I've been a professional performer, mostly as a concert artist, a speaker at conferences and ladies events, and an MC at functions in the nonprofit world. But for the past 20 years, I've spent a great deal of time in professional theater. And half of those years, half of my roles, these past 20 years, I have played one person, one role in one show, and that is the role of Patsy Cline in Always Patsy Cline. And you know, after almost 10 years of playing Patsy Cline, I really thought I knew her. I mean, my uncle was Johnny Cash. He was a peer of hers. He had told me stories about Patsy Cline and I had inherited that natural deep Cash voice that really brought something to that role. My dad knew Patsy. I had been to Winchester, Virginia, and I'd felt a connection with her after seeing so much memorabilia there. I live in Milan, Tennessee. In fact, this is my living room right here, and this is 12 miles from the tragic crash site of Patsy Cline. So I always felt that connection with her. So I felt that when I walked on a stage that I had brought something fresh and new to every stage and that I had seen every reaction and every kind of audience and every type of production I'd been in a lot but you know what I had not walked onto the stage of the Wick Theater and Costume Museum because that first performance where I stood behind the screen and began to see the projections of every picture, every album cover ever taken of Patsy Cline fly up. I mean, I, I do believe that Kimberly used every picture possible and where you saw every aspect of her life leading up to the announcement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, here she is, Miss Patsy Cline, I knew that just visually, I mean, we hadn't heard her sing yet, but visually the audience was ready right then to take a journey with who Patsy Klein not was, but who she is in that very moment. And what made that moment so magical was not only did it lead up to that moment, but I was clothed in a way that you can only be clothed at a place that houses a costume museum in a vintage dress that had been kept up beautifully because of the work and the care of the wonderful Marilyn Wick. In fact, other than my cowgirl dress, which was an exact replica that had been made of one of the many cowgirl dresses that Patsy Klein wore, every dress that I wore was from the 1957-1963 period in history and every dress was vintage and I felt so authentically dressed as Patsy Klein when I walked on stage from head 
because of my wig master two toe. And so the confidence that I had standing there that I could take them on that journey with me as Patsy Klein was not a confidence that I'd ever had in any other show. And to say that was a magical moment is an understatement. And it took me through the entire show with every scene, every song, there's about 26, and I thank the wig for allowing me to take that journey with them. I've got your picture that you gave to me. And it's signed with love, just like it used to be. The only thing different, the only thing new. I've got your picture. The other magical moment, and trust me, there are more than two, but I do want to share one more. The other magical moment that happened several times during the run of Always Patsy Cline was something very unexpected to me, and that was on the weekend performances, we often had the chance to have a cabaret show, and it often featured us, the performers, but sometimes it had an outside performer or performers from other shows. and sitting down sometimes with the people who enjoy the wick or getting to know people who were first time attendees was some of the most memorable experiences of my time there. And during those times where I got to just chit chat with folks, I met some of the people who are now my favorite people who are close friends. In fact, some of them, you know who you are. I've seen you as recently as February and yes, that is very recent because like March, April, and May just didn't happen. So February is recent and I'm so glad I got to see you. And to this day, we are in contact. And those were such treasures to me because they allowed me to take off my wig and go back to being Kelly and sing other songs or just sit down and enjoy the other performers who have been at the wig or some of the guest performers who come in. And I know those cabaret shows are now back at the wick after our period of closing and i know that everyone is enjoying them so much i cannot tell you how much i look forward to that day when i get back down there to south florida see my friends make some new friends and hopefully get on stage again as a performer or if not just get to an event and maybe we'll be socially distanced but maybe we won't who knows or maybe i'll get to just sit in one of the seats next to you and enjoy one of the spectacular performances that is making a magical moment for another performer just like me thank you marilyn wick thank you kimberly for the visual beauty that you bring to the stage and marilyn the way that you clothe us with such confidence that there's no way we can do anything but bring excellence with every word that we speak and every note that we sing. Love you guys. It was so much fun bringing the grand old Opry to life at the Wick Theater. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing from Kelly. She is just a delightful, delightful lady and we're really honored to have her. Hopefully she'll be um, joining us this summer for a cabaret. Um, we've set up the lobby um, and have a beautiful cabaret show with dinner and it really is a lot of fun. Um, but uh, to have Miss America here was like, yay. I was a pageant girl myself, um, and uh, it really was a lot of fun to meet a real Miss America. So um, we have more magical moments in our little, um, you know, lined up to go out, and I hope you're enjoying them, and I hope to see you soon at the Wick Theater.